Hi guys, welcome back to Dome Room 16. I am your host Javon, and today we have a brand new benchmark. There's a Dragon Quest 11: Echoes of an Elusive Age for the PC. Today I'm running this on my Intel Core i3 1025 with the NVIDIA GDX 970 4 GB VRAM graphics card. I'm running with 32 GB of DDR4 RAM and dual channel memory, and holy crap, this doesn't seem right. Why am I getting such a high frame rate? That is crazy. Right, I t this is 1080p. I could have done 1440p. But actually, no, I can't. Well, I'm not gonna do that. This is crazy with everything up to the highest. Wow, I knew this game wasn't demanding if you have a graphics card, but man, how do I do it? So, yeah, without a graphics card, this game is very easy to run. <laughs> the 960 was running it well, to be fair. Hey, we're doing a lot of tests on older games today and you know what going forward thought it'd be more interesting to show you guys how these games be running mad just look at a few years back how games would have ran so much easier on hardware it's crazy to see it because obviously I never i didn't have this hardware back then so it's actually kind of crazy to see game runnings like this being able to run over 120 fps at 1080p i could have done 1440p in this game that is insane to me. And this area can be demanding at times. Or an optimized, whichever one you want to call it. <laughs> and it's just running it, man. This is beautiful. That means when I test on the Vega, the RX 570, and well, when I test on the RX 570 again, I used to previously, but I have a better CPU now. I don't know. We don't know, but this is definitely this. Uh, this one, I obviously didn't test this out beforehand. Um, I don't test every single one of them. I tested with the Vega. Humble folk of cobblestone. But this is one Great for Great land spirits, hearth and home. That's how it goes, isn't it? This one is definitely for 1440p. This would have ran fine. Max settings. My granddad's it been insane. teaching me as long as I can remember. I just, up, I just I guess wonder whose idea it was in, in the first place. As well. It's very well, scalable on line hardware, which I then. knew because that I remember testing this on my integrated oh. graphics a lot. It's only using 1.3 gigabytes of VRAM as well. Like, it's chilling, bro. Five gigs of normal RAM, so that's probably about what three gigs of RAM. They're coming this way. This thing is chilling. I used to test this. I used to do so much low-end config for this on the integrated graphics with single channel RAM. You can it's crazy, man. You'll get a smooth over 100 FPS experience in this game at all times. If you if you want to get 144 fight, FPS fight for like that. Some more. Get him. Oh, oh, that. Crikey. That whole Go high on. refresh rate you gaming, man. It. It's possible Go if you just lower down the shadows a bit. But man, over 100 FPS to run this game on a GTX 970. It's, it just blows me away to show that just a few years back you could run these games so well and then they're like not today the gds 970 is 720p but once again i hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to please leave a like done for if you and sandy haven't been here content. to help me if you guys enjoy seeing me test games on the channel like this lower end games are all sorts of different types of games i test the newest ones as well but if you'd like me to see me go back just so you would know if you can play these games before you actually go and download them leave and a comment down below i get to them eventually dingy. I'll bet you anything. Anyway, the game seems to be running fine. I don't really see any issue here. It's running over 100 FPS. I mean, we're chilling. I'm just going to mute myself and enjoy the rest of the gameplay, and I'll see you guys next time.
can do it! Go on! Fight, fight, and fight some more! Get him! Look at all this fog. Can do it. Get him! 